Political friends and enemies alike are praising former Labor leader Simon Crean this morning after his unexpected death in Europe. His devastated family says he died suddenly in Berlin after exercising yesterday morning. He was there as part of an industry trip. Mr Crean was the Labor Party leader between 2001 and 2003. He served as a cabinet minister in the Hawke, Keating, Rudd and Gillard governments. We've got the Prime Minister coming on to share his thoughts later this morning. But first, let's go to political reporter Dana Morse at Parliament House. Dana, shock political news indeed. Good morning, Michael. Yes, that's correct. It came as a shock yesterday afternoon when the news of Simon's Crean, Simon Crean's passing broke. He served almost two decades in the federal parliament and held a variety of different roles in that time, including, as you say, Labor leader between 2001 and 2003 and as a cabinet minister in several Labor governments. Now, after his passing, the Crean family have asked for privacy but released a statement to say uh, that they are shocked at his passing uh, and that he, uh, they are devastated by his death. Tributes have also flown from across the political spectrum, including from the Prime Minister, uh, Anthony Albanese, who said that he was a giant of the Labor movement and paved the way for a better, fairer country. Notably, in his political career, uh, Mr Crean opposed the invasion of Iraq in the early 2000s. And that's something the successor in his seat, the seat of Hotham, our, our now Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill said was a defining moment in Mr Crean's political career. Tributes have also flown from the leader of the opposition, Peter Dutton, who said he only saw Mr Crean in Melbourne very recently and was shocked and saddened by his passing, as well as from several other former Prime Ministers, including Tony Abbott and Kevin Rudd. Dana Morse, thank you. And our condolences this morning to Mr Crean's wife, Carol, and their two daughters.